Welcome back. In last week's talk, we explored some of the many influences on the food system, including the Farm Bill and its impact on agriculture, the environment, rural communities, public health, and nutrition. This week, we will look into ecologic approaches to food production, increasingly referred to as agroecology. Farming systems that aim for more sustainable land and resource management and harness biodiversity to maintain and improve yields with few or no external inputs. While you listen to these lectures, reconsider the quote from Albert Howard shared at the beginning of the course. The whole problem of health in soil, plant, animal, and man is one great subject. The first lecture in this module is by Fred Kirshenman, an organic wheat farmer and distinguished fellow at the Aldo Leopold Center for Sustainable Agriculture at Iowa State. Fred has a PhD in the philosophy of religion from the University of Chicago. His lecture, What Does Agriculture Have to Do with Public Health? draws from seminal writings and experts in the field of health and agriculture to compare the failures of a, quote, therapeutic intervention, close quote, approach of our current industrialized food system and the natural systems principle that guides sustainable agriculture. The concepts presented in Fred's lecture represent some of the key challenges facing public health today. Michael Heller of Claggett Farm, which is located here in Maryland, will give the second video lecture this week. Michael shares the philosophy that guides the management of his farm and asks us to think about the implications of each of our meals traveling an average of 1,600 to 1,800 miles. In his talk, Michael asked the question, what can we do differently? Finally, you'll view a video of the CLF's aquaponics demonstration project. In this combination of aquaculture or fish farming and hydroponics or soilless plant farming, the fish provide most of the plants required nutrients and the plants in turn clean the water for the fish to reuse. Aquaponics is just one example of the symbiotic relationships that reflect the core pr principles of agroecology and sustainable food production. By the end of this lecture series, students will become more familiar with the concept of sustainable agriculture and how it can help to avoid some of the negative impacts of industrialized food production methods. Throughout this series of videos, here are some questions to consider. What is the appropriate use of therapeutic intervention? both in health and in food systems? What is the value in considering natural systems principles instead? And with the following questions, we'd like to particularly engage those of you who are actively involved in agriculture and urban food systems to share your insights with your fellow students. Is Michael Heller's approach to food production and community food systems a model we can replicate and take to scale? What is the potential of agroecology, perennial grains, and sustainable methods of food production to produce enough food for a population that is growing and increasingly urbanized? And lastly, for all of you to consider together, what should the agriculture of the future look like, and how do we move towards that vision?